For over 60 years, the MRC's GAMBI unit has been at the forefront of medical research in the developing world. It represents the largest UK investment into tropical disease research and has earned international recognition for producing some of the world's most celebrated successes in this field. The unit has been in existence in the Gambia for over 60 years now, producing excellent science relevant to the research world, internationally recognized and nationally appreciated. The Gambia unit offers unrivaled expertise and cost-effective resources for externally funded research, particularly in the priority disciplines of child survival, vaccinology and disease control and elimination. This scientific portfolio has been developed in response to changes in both global health priorities and international research funding. The unit has produced excellent science in relevant areas to the health of the Gambia, the sub-region and the developing world. A good example is a look at the EPI program of the Gambia, which is second to none. And this is a reflection, a product of the work that has been carried out in the Gambia. The Gambia unit's reputation has led to many local, national and international research partnerships. It also takes a lead role in a number of key networks such as HIV-2 and pediatric bacterial meningitis surveillance. The Gambia unit provides multidisciplinary research capabilities across many core fields. It offers some of the most advanced laboratory facilities in sub-Saharan Africa for proteomics, immunology, microbiology, virology and molecular biology. As a result, the unit has achieved many historical successes including establishing the first DNA bank in Africa. Our clinical laboratories are GCLP accredited and they can actually support clinical trials which is a bedrock of um, um, meeting GCP principles which one has to have. We've got established research laboratories in both immunology, molecular diagnostics, clinical diagnostics. They are all well established now to conduct any sort of trial in this institution. The caliber of staff here, you know, complemented by foreign intellectuals that have come from all over the world, research scientists, mingled with the junior staff, it's just exceptional. We collaborate with London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine, we collaborate with um, uh, University College, Hospital, uh, so many institutions abroad where we exchange information. Some scientists have actually worked here before and moved on to institutions, but we still maintain the, the, the collaborative links between us. The focus on translating science into action has resulted in extensive contributions to national immunization, as well as establishing the efficacy of conjugate pneumococcal vaccines. The Gambi unit undertook groundbreaking work into the Haemophilus influenzae type B vaccine. This resulted in the near elimination of Hib by 2005. The Gambia's national immunization program is now one of the best in Africa and this has contributed greatly to its achievement of the Millennium Development Goal of decreasing child mortality. The Gambia unit has a long history of conducting large-scale community-based research. It studies diseases and evaluates vaccines in all phases of development. For example, it undertook extensive testing of a new hepatitis B vaccine on newborns. Not only has this added to the national immunization program, it also led on to the longest running cohort study into the effects of infant vaccination on liver cancer, by far the largest killer of Gambian men in adult life. When I came to the Gambia, what really struck me was that we can study questions of global importance in vaccine research in particular in their relevant local environment, and that we can see families and individuals affected by infectious diseases that we do not necessarily see in Europe anymore or in North America, but where vaccine research really can only be conducted in places where you have the opportunity to study the natural evolution of disease and also then the vaccine effect. And what it's given to me is the ability to not only show the vaccine development but also show the impact of the vaccines on a certain population and the vaccine research we conduct hopefully will always pay a, a tribute to the vaccine to the vaccine preventable diseases relevant to that particular area. So you have the lab, you have the field site, you have the dedicated personnel, they're all pulling together with the population to really assess the impact of an intervention. The Bassefields, MRC Bassefield station is located at the easternmost region of the country and uh, it, 
it supports uh, a demographic surveillance system which covers 160,000 people which forms a platform on which uh, many of the research projects being conducted at the field station are based on. Um, it also has facilities to support large-scale field uh, clinical and epidemiological trials so it provides that unique capability of uh, evaluating the demographic impact of specific health interventions such as uh, vaccine trials etc. Another clinical research success was establishing that the use of insecticide-treated bed nets decreased the mortality of Gambian children by 25%. Today, these are used globally as an intervention against malaria. If you want to know, for example, how well the bed nets will work against malaria, you've got to test them in the field and you've got to test them under normal use. And this is what these kind of the situation of MRC the Gambia can do. The unit also offers focused nutrition research at the Keneba Field Station, offering scientists a unique opportunity to investigate the important role that nutrition plays in human health. In terms of uh, resources available, and uh, we are probably one of the best resource centers in, in West Africa, or let's say in Africa, there are very few uh, centers of this kind uh, in Sub-Saharan Africa. The unit has the potential of uh, um, doing cutting-edge research um, at the very place where uh, the disease is endemic, you know. While, you know, some of this research can be done in Europe or in, uh, in, the, in the U.S., but uh, uh, they need to shift samples, it's more complicated, while here we can do almost everything. This office works in terms of supporting researchers who conduct clinical trials trying to make sure they meet the international ethical and scientific standard to conduct their trials according to good clinical practice. We also support them by making sure we train the researchers and their support staff in good clinical practice and ethics. I also work as a monitor and uh, that is making sure uh, the participants who are involved in research, they are protected and ensuring also that the data that are collected are credible. That I do by conducting monitoring visits to the size. The Gambi unit has also developed a dedicated clinical services department. This provides high quality, efficient healthcare to both nationals and visitors across West Africa. It comprises a clinic, outpatient facilities, a ward, and an extensive diagnostic capability. These cover hematology, biochemistry, microbiology, ultrasonography, x-ray imaging, and diagnostic endoscopy. We have a 42-bed um, ward supported by state-of-the-art um, clinical laboratories and uh, imaging facilities. So we are essentially a hospital. The clinical services department also plays a crucial role in clinical trials. For example, the ward is currently involved in ongoing studies into illnesses such as bacteremia, malaria, severe anemia, renal diseases, and malnutrition. So we host research, we do research, and then we give care. Without the provision of such clinical care to the people, the research that we're conducting in the, in the, in the communities will not really make an impact to them. Recruiting, retaining, and developing staff have been instrumental to the Gambia unit's success. Every year, the unit supports training to the highest international standards, from foundation degree to PhD level. These opportunities also extend beyond the unit's own staff, with training provided to members of the National Ministry of Health, as well as other medical professionals across West Africa. People like to think that we've got excellent uh, facilities in the unit, and that is true. But, um, to match this, we've got excellent scientists. Capabilities, infrastructure without good scientists is meaningless. We have therefore continued to attract um, good people, excellent people, full of potentials. We have an open door policy of recruiting the very best regardless of where you come from. And we continue to nurture our scientists to a high level, mentoring all the others as they need it. Each and every member of staff has the possibility of developing whilst working within the unit. It increases my value, it increases my knowledge, helps me 
um, gain expertise in an area I'm really interested in. As an African, I know that there's a great need for African scientists and it's a place where a little work can make huge impact. Equally vital has been the development of reliable infrastructure, resources and utilities. Our main concern really is um, electricity and water supply because unfortunately um, we have interruptions, outages as well. So our main concern is to make sure we keep all these supplies um, available and for that purpose we have our own backup facilities, we have our own generators and we have our own borehole. And another important aspect of our work is refrigeration and air conditioning. We have a lot of specimens kept in the freezer room and we make sure those freezers and the air conditioners for the freezer room are kept going to make sure we don't lose anything. Led by scientists of international standing, the Gambia Unit offers innovative world-class research within a highly efficient yet cost-effective environment. Responsible for some of the most celebrated successes in tropical disease research, it continues its mission to improve health and save lives.